What are Google key moments? Have you ever watched a how-to video and it takes forever to find what you really need or want? It can be very frustrating. In this video, I'm going to cover number one, what are Google key moments? Number two, why are key moments helpful for the consumer? Number three, why should creators or YouTubers use key moments? Number four, how can creators or YouTubers use key moments? Let's get to it right after this intro. What are Google key moments? Key moments are tiny sections within one YouTube video, so that way the viewer can find and skim through the content very easily and quickly to get to exactly what they're looking for. So I did a search right here on my mobile device, how to start a YouTube podcast, and sure enough, Pat Flynn's video pulls right up here, and you will see in the bottom there, those are the key moments. They are essentially timestamps within a video. Right on Google's blog, they mention that when you're reading a, an article, you can kind of skim through text and find exactly what you're looking for. With video, they didn't have that. So they're trying to make it easier for the user to have that. So it says right here, quote, you'll be able to easily scan to see whether a video has what you're looking for and find the relevant section of the content. Okay, number two, why are key moments helpful for the consumer? I kind of already went over that, it's sort of obvious, but right here, it says starting today, and this is September 17th, 2019, you can find key moments within videos and get to the information you're looking for faster with the help from content creators. So I did a little test here. I went onto my desktop and searched the exact same keywords, how to start a YouTube podcast. And sure enough, Pat Flynn's video pulled up right here, but it doesn't give those key moments. When I search the exact same keywords on my mobile device, sure enough, those key moments pull right up there. So it looks like the features are more beneficial on the mobile as of right now. I could definitely see this being a test or they then try it on desktop, so look for that. Okay, number three, why should creators or YouTubers use key moments? First of all, if you're a YouTuber, you want your audience, those that are searching at your content, to find you faster and easier. Just overall, wanting to make it the best experience for your audience. Another thing is you're gonna have more digital real estate. Think about YouTube and Google. If they can pinpoint the specific answers and be able to deliver it in a video, they might show that in all sorts of places on the internet going into the future. This is just another way for content to get distributed. So this is a quote right from Google's blog. It says, soon you'll be able to find these key moments from video publishers around the world, such as CBS Sports and NDTV, as they add markup to their videos. And we look forward to more creators adopting this helpful new feature. So guys, this is something, it's just saying that big networks are going to be adding these timestamps to their videos and it's gonna be helpful for them. And so they're saying, hey, all YouTube creators, you should be adding timestamps to your videos so that way they create these key moments. And as I was reading this, I first thought that it meant that news publishers like CBS or whatever would then be adding their video into their, their streams. Well. That's not what that's saying, but I don't see why they would not in the future. So something to think about. The last thing I'm going to cover is how can creators or YouTubers use key moments? Guys, it's very simple. Just add timestamps to all of the steps within your YouTube video. So I'm going to share with you vidIQ. They were the ones that inspired me to create this video. Here are their timestamps right here. They put timestamps with the title just added the specific time of each section within their video. A suggestion is to add timestamps to your old videos. Why not benefit from using old content? Lastly, just make sure you add timestamps to your new videos. It very well could benefit you now and into the future. Okay, you guys, I hope you now understand the value of keywords or timestamps 
as you are a consumer and a creator. Guys, overall, I hope you found this valuable. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or how to make money online, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll find below a link of how my best suggestion of how to start making money online. Guys, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.